We are here at Starbucks in Fashion Island in Newport Beach, and we are gonna be showing you some of the best low calorie coffee alternatives that you can use to help yourself lose tons and tons of weight throughout the year, because most people are ordering four or even 500 calorie drinks, but we're gonna show you how to do that for even 65 to 100 calories instead. So the plan is to get a whole bunch of drinks from someone called Macro Barista on Instagram. We're gonna take all of his most popular drinks that all have like two plus million views, and we're gonna order them. We're gonna spend probably 100 bucks on coffees and kind of see where it takes us. So we're gonna be ranking all of these drinks from the least calorie to the highest calorie, but also from our least favorite to our most favorite. We are here at Starbucks right now, and basically what I wanna do is show you guys some of the most commonly underestimated calories that you guys have every single day in your diet. Everybody drinks coffee. Not everybody, but probably like 80% of people drink coffee. So because of that, a lot of times people don't factor in the calories from liquids. These coffees can be four or 500 calories, and you just don't realize it. You start going about your day, and you eat all these healthy foods, and then you just have this one thing that you have every single day that you just have no clue is absolutely sabotaging your results. So these are all very low calorie options that you can choose instead of the high calorie options. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try out all of these and tell you which ones are our favorites, which ones we don't like nearly as much, which ones are as close as possible to the really, really high calorie ones. And we're gonna show you all of the ways that you guys can order these. We're spending like a hundred bucks on just coffees today and we're really excited to dive in and get extremely, extremely caffeinated. A mocha cookie frumble crappuccino. Crappuccino. <laughs> Frappuccino. A venti is 600 calories. That is mental. I'm ordering a mocha cookie crumble frappuccino and I literally feel uncomfortable just ordering it. I feel like I'm gaining weight as I'm pressing the button. Dude, this is actually so fun. I've always wanted to order all these. This literally just looks like diabetes. Can you imagine just waking up in the morning, you're like, oh, I'm gonna have 600 calories of just straight fucking sugar straight to my face and go straight to bed. You'll be exhausted. All right, we're gonna be doing the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cold Brew. This is one of his most viral coffees. Got two million views on there. I'm gonna be giving it a go. Whoop. And we're gonna be making a mess. Okay, here we go. All right, so there's three of us trying these out. We got me, we got Zoe, we got cameraman Logan. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, this is a hundred calories versus something that's like gonna be like this, which is, this is actually a tall, this is like 300 calorie tall. It goes up to 600 calories if you get a venti. Here we go. That does taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. For a hundred calories, it's pretty good. Ooh, that's really good. It's a little creamy for me, but it's cinnamon. Really good. Logan's turn. It tastes like it should be more than hundred calories. It's pretty close to like the milk you get after you finish your, your bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, like that milky, cinnamony, like, oh, I need yeah. to chug this shit. Next. Vanilla Sweet Cream Cold Brew. This is my personal favorite before we did all of this. I haven't tried all of these yet, but this has been my favorite for a couple months now. It just tastes so good. It doesn't taste like fake syrup. Like it tastes like something that's really, really good. And it's really light. It's like, this is 100 calories for a grande. The flavor, the vanilla flavor is really strong, I feel yeah. like. I've been ordering this drink for literally like two months now. So this is my favorite drink at the moment. I like it. I don't get why people need like their coffee to taste like ice cream. This, is, gonna find this out. is like a good mix. We're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah. Vanilla sweet cream nitro. So before we had a vanilla sweet cream cold beer, this is a nitro. This has the nitro flavor. Yeah, it's good. It, it, I can tell how caffeinated I'm gonna feel after yeah. that. Nitro, if you guys don't know, the nitro actually has like double the caffeine. It's good. I, I'm not a big fan of nitro, it's not my favorite. This is an iced caramel Americano. It's really good. I don't like this one personally. Okay. I think this is my favorite so far. Really? Yeah, I like that caramel flavor. See, I like the milky and cream as men. This is basic bitching. I just wanna say, <laughs> Something my dad told me is that real men drink their coffee black. Yeah. So I agree with that. Actually, actually, I So I agree it's not with milky and creamy. The aftertaste is a little weird. I like Americanos. I kind of like caramel. It's so good, I'm having a second cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's two different people. <laughs> this is a 100 calorie white chocolate truffle. That's good. It tastes like horchata. This is good. It's not my favorite one, but this is definitely up there. This tastes like something that definitely should not be on calories. I agree with that. It tastes very uh, sugary. Whoa, that's very sweet. 
French vanilla, grande cold brew, 65 calories. Fuck, that's good too. Not my favorite. Like this is definitely the halo top to your Ben and Jerry's. That's not my favorite. It honestly yeah, it's just feels like, like they put a little bit of vanilla in like water. In cold, like it's very yeah. plain. Unanimous decision. Yeah. Not no. Yet. Not, yet. not the best. I wouldn't order that again. I ordered this drink every day for like three months. This is all time one of my favorites. It's a Nutella, 65 calories, insane. It's ridiculous. This is one of my all time favorites, all time. Dude, it's like that chocolate flavor is really good. It's fucking good. I, I don't think this is 65 calories. There's no way. <clears throat> Let me double check. 75 calories, it's 75. We're fact checking. This is probably one of my top two favorite with the Americano. One pump of hazelnut, one pump of mocha, two Splenda packets, and a splash of half and half. Fucking insane. Well, it would, would it be one of my tops? I'll say Really? That. Yeah. I guess I'm not a big Nutella guy. It, honestly, it's just like chocolate syrup. You know, like chocolate syrup that you make chocolate milk with? That's what it tastes like. Ice cream, shaken espresso, 85 calories. Ooh, yeah, this one's pretty good. Because it's like that deep, rich coffee espresso. flavor, but then a little bit of sweetener. It does have like the, it's got, you really have like the espresso taste. It tastes like an affogato. An affogato is when they take espresso and put it on top of ice cream. This tastes just like that. That's very espresso -y. Very strong. So I wouldn't get this one unless you like, like strong coffee. Yeah. This one doesn't taste like it has ice cream in it like all the other ones. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Oh, you do like it? Uh -huh. okay, cool. It's a double chocolate shake and espresso. This is 85 calories. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Why not? I just like, there's something about it. What's the flavor they don't like? All of it. I think we're like starting to overdose on caffeine. <laughs> Look at her shivering. <laughs> so much coffee. <laughs> I love this. It's so good. It tastes the exact same as all this other shit. I don't like it. <laughs> I love the shaken espresso. I bet he doesn't like it because of the oat milk, but. I like this. Yeah, like it's it. good. The aftertaste is a little weird. I don't know why you don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> I hate it. it might be the oat milk flavor you don't like. That's good, I like it. Mocha, cookie, crumble, frappuccino. Oh, gosh. This is one of their highest calorie drinks. We just got a tall, and the tall is 350 calories. Holy fucking shit. That actually is insane. Dude, there's like a full-blown Oreo cookie in here, I think. Yeah. There is no difference between this and like legitimately getting ice cream. This is a dessert. You should be ashamed of yourself if you're, Jesus. If you're drinking this before like 8 a.m., this is, we need to rethink, we need to talk. We need to talk. It's literally just ice cream. It's just it's ice like cream. A, it's a milkshake. It's, it's, just, yeah. Yeah. it's good, but not for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's break down everything that we did at Starbucks. Let's just talk about how many people drink coffee every day. Two billion people are drinking coffee every single day. Two billion, that's insane. 62% of the population is drinking coffee. That's not bad though, that's right. That, that's, that, that's good. I like everybody to be caffeinated. Those are my kind of people. I'm excited to see them. I'm caffeinated right now because we just had a ton of caffeine. The average coffee order, not just Starbucks, but just all coffee orders, people at home that are putting milk in their coffee, sugar in their coffee, people who are going to Starbucks, we're looking at 200 calories per cup of coffee. But here's where it gets more interesting. The average person is consuming two to three cups per day. Six out of 10 people are drinking coffee. Those same six out of 10 people are having two to three cups per day. Those same two to three cups per day is on average 200 calories, on average. I understand some of you guys like espresso. I understand you like cold brew, but I'm talking about average. Let's just say it's 500. That's nice in the middle number. It takes 3,500 calories to gain one pound of fat. There just happens to be seven days in a week. 500 calories per day, 3,500 calories at the end of the week. That's 500 times seven, 3,500, one pound of fat, each and every week. Bam! If you guys just take your coffees down to just black coffee, if you just did that alone, you guys could save yourself one pound each and every week. Not even going to the gym. You don't even have to work out. 
That's the best part of this whole deal is because calories in is the most important thing, right? So you guys burn more calories when you work out. You burn more calories when you have more muscle mass. That's why I'm a huge fan of strength training. You should strength train so you can increase your muscle mass, burn more calories even at rest when you're doing nothing. But if you're someone who doesn't wanna work out, then the best thing that you can do is just make sure that you understand what you're putting in your mouth. So let's just say you're like, dude, I wanna, I still wanna like, you know, I still wanna like have a good time at the coffee shop. I understand. My favorites were probably the Nutella cold brew. 75 calories, tastes like Nutella, absolutely out of control good. Like it's chocolatey, it's creamy, it's so, so good. It's 75 calories and it's a grande. It's really, 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 really good. Next is the ice cream espresso. What I really liked about this is if you guys have ever had an affogato, that vanilla ice cream kind of vibe, but also with the espresso on top and it's strong and it's, it's a manly drink. I, 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 I mean, you can't say manly with ice cream in the same sentence, but it's as manly as you can get for 85 calories. Now, let's just say you order two of these per day. You're looking at like 150 calories, potentially just by switching to whatever drinks you're at now and just switching to these two, you can already save yourself. You wouldn't be losing a pound a week, but you might lose two or three pounds every month just because you switched up your order. I think that's a really great way to go. Another thing that you guys could do is you could just drink one cup a day. You could just drink one cup a day of your favorite drink, and then on the other two cups, you go black or you go espresso. I think for most of you guys, just understanding, here's the things that we could do different. We can go black, we can do one of these guys. To be completely fair, I love the numbers. I'm somebody who probably drinks two cups of coffee a day, for sure. I'm usually just doing Americanos, and I also like Cortados or Macchiatos. They're like really small versions of lattes. So if you like a huge latte, a Macchiato or a Cortado is a great way to go. They're just really, really tiny. So you get that nice espresso, you get a little bit of that milk vibe, but way less calories. They're under 100 calories each as well. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was amazing going to Starbucks and ordering literally 10 drinks. The guy looked at us like we were absolutely crazy. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to the channel so I can keep making you guys more awesome videos. And I also want you guys to share this with any of your friends who you know are drinking super high calorie coffees and you think this might help them out. I wanna say thank you to Macro Barista for providing so many of these amazing, amazing ingredients and recipes for us. And again, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys soon.